According to ESPN, unbeaten American heavyweight contender Jared Anderson returns to action on July 1st in his hometown of Toledo, Ohio, against unbeaten Kazakh Southpaw Zahn Kosobutsky. Kosobutsky is ranked number eight by the WBC, and Anderson is ranked number 11, so this fight would give Anderson the opportunity to climb up a couple places on the WBC ladder. If we have a look at Kosobutsky's record here, as you can see, he's 19 and 0, 18 KOs, 34 years of age, six foot three inches tall, weighs between 235 and 240, so a medium sized heavyweight by today's standards. And his record contains names like Johan Duopa, who we beat last year, stopped him in five rounds, Joey Duwayko, Camille Sokolovsky, Osborne Machinima, who beat Corey Sanders back in the days, and the rest of them are miscellaneous journeymen. Obviously, the guys I just mentioned, or at least some of them, the journeyman too, but they're more well-known. Anderson, of course, is 14 and 0, 14 KOs, 23 years of age, six feet, four inches tall, weighs between 240 and 250. So these are very similar size heavyweights. There is footage of Kosobutsky online. You can see his fight here against Johan Duopa. He has kind of a disjointed, offbeat style. Not quite Joe Joyce, but there isn't a lot of rhythm there. And sometimes that can work to your advantage. It can make a fighter more difficult to read. Kosobutsky can bang, particularly with the left hand. He mixes it up, head and body. He is quite one paced though. Seems to fight in the one gear. But of course, so far that's been enough. Will he be able to withstand the work rate of Jared Anderson? Because Anderson isn't just a big puncher. He isn't just fast. He isn't just athletic and fluid with good balance and so on. He's also got tremendous fitness. He throws an awful lot of punches. And so for a guy who is as one-paced and methodical as Kosobutsky, that could be a problem. I think he's going to need to hit Jared Anderson with something early to get his respect, something which none of Anderson's opponents so far have been able to do. Just going back to Kosobutsky's record here, he did have an extensive amateur career. But as far as I can tell, he was not one of the elite fighters in the unpaid ranks. He turned pro six years ago, back in 2017. And as I say, he's 34 years of age. He's had most of his fights in Germany, which isn't the boxing powerhouse that it used to be. So he's been fighting in obscurity, basically. He needs to get a move on. And therefore he's decided to take this chance against Jared Anderson. I mentioned in a recent video about Anderson that Kosobutsky is one of the contenders that might actually fight him. The more well-known guys are gonna want a king's ransom because Anderson is extremely talented. So this is really a ranking fight for Jared Anderson. What do you guys think about it? Can Kosobutsky be a potential banana skin here? Will he pose Anderson any problems? Will Anderson overlook him? Or will it be relatively straightforward? Anderson is almost certainly gonna have to maneuver himself into a mandatory position in order to get a title shot. In fact, it's probably gonna be quite difficult to even get him a final eliminator because the contenders are queuing up. There's a backlog of people trying to get a title shot and they don't wanna compromise their position, most of them. Anderson is also ranked number seven by the WBO. So that's another route he could go if he wanted to. Ranked number 11 as well by the WBA. Presumably, Anderson would have tried to get some of the names above him in the WBO rankings, such as Joseph Parker, Joe Joyce, Wilder, Sanchez, Joshua Ruiz, but I can't imagine any of those guys would have been interested for the money currently being offered to face Anderson. How much is Bob Arum, Anderson's promoter, willing to invest? Sometimes you gotta take a financial loss on a fighter in order to get him the right fights to move him up into a position for a title shot. In the WBA rankings, I reckon Jarrell Miller might fight Anderson. He's ranked a couple places above him at number nine, but Anderson has spoken about not being too interested in fighting Jarrell Miller for the right to be called Big Baby because they both use that moniker. Anderson basically said that Miller is undeserving of a fight against him at this stage due to his past PED use. Also above Anderson in the WBA rankings is Jonathan Guidry. I think that's a fight Anderson might be able to get. Luis Ortiz, possibly Arslan Beck Makhmadov, although I'm not sure he'd take it. He is ranked quite high in two of the sanctioned bodies now. Lania Perro, the Cuban heavyweight. Basically, the further you go up the rankings, the less likely they are to fight Jared Anderson because the money they're going to want will be unrealistic. In the WBC, as I say, he's going to fight Kosobutsky, apparently, who's number eight. Can't see Bacoli fighting him. Can't see Dylan White fighting him. I'd be surprised if Frank Sanchez was willing to compromise his position at number four. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section below. Jared Anderson versus Zahn Kosobutsky in Anderson's hometown of Toledo, Ohio on July 1st. How's this fight gonna go?